Okay, so now let's look at the activated sludge process and determine the return recycle flow rate that is going to be specifically our Q sub R. So here we have a biological treatment system is for a wastewater treatment plant and is shown in the figure below. We're going to assume the following activated sludge process with effluent solids being zero. So this is key here. The effluent solids here are going to be zero. This is what we're assuming. This is our X sub E. This will be our effluent solids and we're gonna say at the effluent when we exit it's zero so we know here we have a activated sludge process we have a aeration tank and a secondary clarifier so this is where we enter this is the inlet this is the effluent this is where we exit and we know here that we're given the total total influent volumetric flow rate so this is the total flow rate and it's going to be our Q it's just this Q we know that MLVSS, the mixed liquor volatile suspended solid concentration in the aeration tank is X. So this is going to be this value. And this is for the aeration tank, which has the microorganisms. And we know, since we have X here, this is what's going to exit our aeration tank. And this is given to be 3 grams per liter. Then we have the volumetric flow rate of the wasted sludge is given to be Q sub W. And where is that? We know that we enter at some flow rate, at some X, and some S. And a side note here, we know X relates to the cells. S is the sewage. So this is the sewage at the effluent. It's the same as the sewage entering the secondary clarifier. And we know this is the sewage at the initially at the influent right the initial sewage we're looking to treat s stands for sewage x you can think of it as here effluent solids it relates to the cells so we know here that q sub w is the volumetric flow rate of the wasted sludge and it's going to be this right so here from the secondary clarifier we have some sludge part of it is going to be get returned and this is what we call the return activated sludge and part of it is going to be wasted and the wasted is going to be Q sub W and it's going to be the waste activated sludge which has a flow rate Q sub W so we're given that and we're told the waste and recycle solids concentration Q sub R is given so Q sub R here for the return activated sludge is given to be 12 grams per liter so what do we want to find we want to find the return flow rate in million gallons per day what is this most nearly so how do we do this what i propose here is to do a mass balance but which system do we want to isolate for a mass balance we can do the overall system but i notice that we're looking at this return activated sludge and that is mainly concerned with the secondary clarifier so what we're going to do is isolate the secondary clarifier and I'll just make a box around it being that we know we're going to analyze strictly just the secondary clarifier and we're going to apply a mass balance to it with the end goal of finding Q sub R the flow rate the recycle flow rate which relates to the return activated sludge right so here First thing is we know we're isolating this and applying the mass balance. All that means is whatever comes in has to equal whatever comes out. So what I'm going to say is on the left side, let's write in equals out. Okay. So we know, let's look at what comes in. Again, we're only looking at the secondary clarifier. So we're going to ask what enters our secondary clarifier? what comes in so we know here that if you look we have the sludge coming out down here we have q sub r that comes back and we have q that comes in here so we have a total of q and q sub r that enters at, at the influent that enters the aeration tank so whatever enters the aeration tank has to come out the aeration tank so whatever comes in here is going to be the total q coming in here so the total Q coming in here will be our Q sub R plus Q. 
So it's going to be q plus q sub r. And here we take q times our x value, which is just that. So the total here is q times x. So it's a mass flow rate. So we know here on the end we have q plus q sub r and we always multiply by the x value here. And that's what comes in here just strictly for the secondary clarifier. Once again since this q sub r comes back it combines with the total flow rate that comes in here so they combine together and that's why whatever exit the aeration tank is going to be q plus q sub r and all we did here is multiply it by x this x value and that is also given it's the concentration so that's going to be what comes in that's all it is so now let's look at what comes out so let's look at the diagram and the first one that we're going to look at which is going to be the easiest it's going to be what comes out here so we know that this q plus qr comes in the second air clarifier and it's going to be a cycle that's strictly for this so in other words we're only looking at q plus qr as a cycle just for this part where we have the return activated sludge so here whatever exits at the effluent essentially is going to be q minus qw so we take the total flow rate coming in minus the waste flow rate q sub w and this is what's going to be at the effluent because q sub r once again we did not consider that we know that comes in but q sub r is going to be get it, it gets recycled right that's our q sub r so it comes back around but what exit here the effluent depends on the total flow rate just the flow rate the total flow rate q not q sub r we do not consider that minus what we waste q sub w so that's going to be at the exit so that's just an extra note but here at the end of the day we're not going to use this because our x sub e is zero so if i write it in my equation on the right side whatever comes out here we have q minus q w this is the flow rate at the effluent times x sub e but we know x sub e is zero so essentially this whole term goes away so that whole term goes away because we're multiplying by zero so we're not done yet we have more things that come out so we're looking at the secondary clarifier what comes out here is also going to be the waste activated sludge so all you do is q sub w times x to xr so we do q sub w times xr then we have qr times xr so this also comes out right so whatever comes out here is this and this so we have qr times xr okay so now we're looking to solve for the return flow rate return flow rate which is going to be q sub r let me highlight that so we know i can rewrite this equation by eliminating this real quick so we have q plus qr actually what i'm gonna do is distribute the x so let's distribute the x x times q so we have qx plus x times qr so it can be qr times x so this is capital x equals two so this whole term goes away because this is zero we're told at the effluent x is zero and so this is eliminated so we have q sub w we have x sub r plus q sub r x sub r so now we're looking to solve for q sub r right that's what we want to find so it, it's here and here so i'm going to get those terms next to each other so we're going to rearrange the equation and i'm going to move this to this side and i'm going to move this to this side i want these next to each other so we have equals to what you should get on the left side is qr times x minus qr times xr so all i did was move this to this side and then i'm going to move this to this side we're just doing algebra qr minus q times x 
So now we have QR on both sides, which is good. That's what we want. But we can take out a QR. So I'm going to take out a QR. So we have X minus XR. I just took out a QR here. Equals to QW XR minus Q times X. So now we can solve for QR. You divide by X minus XR by both sides. What you do to this side, you must do to this side. X minus XR. So now QR, the final equation here, the return flow is going to be QW. We have XR minus Q times X divided by X minus XR. And we know we're given QW and we know Q, we know XR, we know X. So this is Q, this is X, QW, XR. So I'm just going to plug those in. So QR equals to the QW, which is, let me go back above, it's 17. So it's 17 and it's meter to the third per day. Then we multiply by XR, which is 12 grams per liter. Then we do minus Q. What's Q? It's 3785, the total flow rate. 3785 meter to the third per day. We multiply that by 3, which is just the X value given. Then we do X minus, so which is 3 grams per liter minus XR, which is the 12. Okay, so now we can solve for QR. And we know here it's meter to the third per day. So that's what we're going to get when you do the math there. So it's 1,239 meter to the third per day. But we have to get our final answer. In the question it says million gallon per day. So you just divide by a million. So here we get 0 0.33 million gallon per day. So this is our answer. So here it should be B. That's all. Thank you and please subscribe and like. Take care.